No sooner had North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sent a message of deep condolence to South Korean President Moon Jae-in over the death of his mother than Pyongyang tested Seoul's patience again by launching two projectiles. Unusually for the North, which normally carries out such tests in the early morning, these launches took place yesterday afternoon just after 4.30 p.m., with the North's official news agency announcing this morning that the country successfully tested a super-large multiple rocket launcher. From the south side, we can verify these were short-range projectiles fired from South Pyongan province around 370 kilometers eastward across the peninsula into open water and reaching a maximum altitude of around 90 kilometers. We also know this was the 12th set of North Korean launches this year and this latest case came within the same month as the North celebrated testing a new submarine launch ballistic missile, which definitely went against UN resolutions. But the US has been hesitant to condemn the North's launches this year, apparently in the name of keeping denuclearization dialogue alive and on the basis that Pyongyang has not been testing long-range missiles. Seoul also has been patient, expressing concern, but also continuing to seek dialogue, even when the North has been unwilling, including in the last few days over potentially rebooting a joint tourism venture at North Korea's Mount Kumgang Resort. But we know Pyongyang does want talks with the US, and a series of recent statements from high-level North Korean officials have reminded Washington of a certain deadline. It has until the end of the year to find a way past this denuclearization deadlock. After that, we can expect a return to hostile rhetoric and more provocative weapon tests. So were yesterday's launches a taste of what's to come? Consider the North's own description. The perfection of the continuous fire system was verified through the test fire to totally destroy with superpower the group target of the enemy and designated target area by surprise strike. Even if some of that could be debated, the US has shown no sign of changing its stance. So the North's path indicates it will just up the stakes further. And with President Donald Trump coming under pressure from all sides, how will he react if and when he does finally lose patience with Chairman Kim Jong-un?